Well, the pain of losing a child is something that no parent should ever experience, but it is something a group of East Tennessee parents have in common. This group was inspired by the connections a chaplain made in 1969 when he connected two parents struggling with similar struggles. Visual storyteller Aaron Velazquez shares why these connections are so vital. It's the worst possible thing that can happen to a parent to lose a child. Barbara Ray understands this pain firsthand. She lost her daughter Kimberly in 1994. Nearly 30 years later, she still remembers the overwhelming grief. I felt like I was going crazy. Things I was thinking and doing weren't right, or I didn't think they were right. Ray went two years before attending a meeting of the Compassionate Friends, a global organization that provides grief support for bereaved parents. Knoxville chapter leader Linda Smith knows how important this group is for parents. Let you know that you're not alone, that you um, are not losing your mind like we think we are. Smith lost her own son, Christopher, in 2013 in a motorcycle accident. She felt like she couldn't process her feelings with someone who had never experienced the same pain. That led her to the Compassionate Friends. The Compassionate Friends saved my life. Parents in this group say being with people who understand their loss, their grief. She was 34. And their pain and makes a world of difference. Talking to other bereaved parents is so important. The group does more than provide a safe space to talk. They celebrate birthdays of the people they've lost. They include them in their favorite holidays, and they offer the tools needed for when the group isn't meeting. Most importantly, it brings people together. They know how we feel. We know how each other feels. It's so important to know that the things we are thinking and the things that we are doing are normal for a bereaved parent. We'll never get back the people we lost, but parents like Linda and Barbara create a new normal for themselves through the support of new, lifelong, compassionate friends. That was 10 News's Aaron Velazquez reporting, and the Compassionate Friends Knoxville meets each month at the Second United Methodist Church. You can find out more information about that group on WBIR.com.